Hey guys, welcome back to the sunny morning. And we're into the second part of our gastronomy section with Chef Andreas Trilk. Did I yes, said that right? Completely right, yes. I, I, my German's got very rusty. Yeah. I haven't used it much in Mexico in recent yeah. years, you know. I did spend a long time in Germany. I was in uh, Bavaria for many in years. Bavaria, yeah. Which part of Germany are you I'm from? I'm from Stuttgart on the left side of Bavaria. Yeah. Stuttgart. Where the they make all the Mercedes in the nice Porsches. It's exactly right. It's exactly. the heart of the auto manufacturing yeah. right there, isn't it? The football team, I had a friend, my, one of my very good friends over there, uh, Val, VfB Stuttgart, VfB Stuttgart. Football Stuttgart. This year they're playing really good. Are they? Yeah. But it's the first season after a long time. Yeah, they had a few yeah. difficult years, right? I know, but, you know, and um, just, we've got to say something. I mean, Germany, Mexico, right? World Cup. I mean, we're, we're all on the same side here, but when it comes to Germany and Mexico in the group stages of the World Cup, Russia World Cup. we have even Cup, the first game together on the 17th game, of June, it? yeah. I know, 17th of June. I think I, think I have to take vacation. <laughs> I hope it's not going to be... Well, they, they played, didn't they? I mean, it was the World Champions, World Cup Champions Germany against Mexico CONCACAF Champions, I think. Yes. The result, was it 4-2 to Germany? 4-1. No, 4-1. 4-1, yeah. So... Uh, I had to hide on this day. Did you really have to yeah. hide? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you, I mean, Germany... I mean, yeah, for, me it's, for me, it's really difficult because yeah. one part of me is it's my know, wife. I know. So we're sitting with, with both flags at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it was just not good luck that we... Paint the faces both yeah. colours, right? Is exactly, that what the yeah. stripes on there? Exactly, yeah. I just thought we'd throw that in there because I had the same hard time at home as well. England, Germany, sorry, England, Mexico at home is the same thing, same story. We never really play that often in England, Germany. So, we're going to Hawaii now as well, no, we're right? Going we're going to Hawaii, Hawaii. Let's, go ahead, yeah. let's go to the islands. And so, yeah. let's talk about this dish. We will prepare a ahi poke atun. Okay. It's a poke atun is a typical thing in Hawaii. It's like... Yeah. You can say also it's a tuna tata, but the difference oh, between okay. a tata and a poke, you cut the cubes of yeah. the fish bigger. Now, this is a very popular Hawaiian well, recipe, poke, right? Yeah, exactly, yeah. So if you're you have a lot Hawaii, of different pokes. You can do it with yeah. salmon, you can do it with uh, hamachi, mm. you can do it with, with all the fishes what you normally also find in the sushis. Yeah, because in yeah. Hawaii, you have a, a lot of influence from uh, a Japan. A lot of Japanese customers yeah, exactly. or influence there, yeah. right? So yeah. that's a so major it's like, dish. It's like a, a mix of Hawaiian and Japanese culture, no? That's really interesting, yeah. yeah. And here we're doing it in Mexico. Is there a lot of call for this too? I mean, this is something your style you've been introducing to El Dorado Maroma. I mean, yes. Because we have some restaurants, they're international, yeah. so we have international recipes. We also in El Dorado Maroma have Italian, we have Oriental, mm -hmm. we have Peruvian, yeah, we have Caribbean restaurants. Yeah. So and then we have with Palafitos, we have the international one. Yeah, yeah so yeah, we have yeah. a lot of different food all over the world. It's amazing. I mean, yes. how, you've got a very broad palette to work with of restaurants. I mean, how many restaurants in total are you overseeing as executive chef? Seven. Seven in Maroma international so restaurants. Seven, yeah. Wow, and a, yeah. and a team of how many people working around you? I mean, more or less? In my team, I have like 85. 85? 85, yes, of course. That's incredible. Yeah. I mean... Um, because also yeah. we have the stewarding, and then we have the different kitchens. So okay. all together, it's around 85, yes. And I mean, hand on heart, I know you love what you do. What's so special about being able to... I mean, this is art for you. I mean, how do you describe your career to people when they ask you, you know, what you do? How do you express the enjoyment of what you do? But food for me is essential for yeah. that we have to make it good yeah because it's it's a big part in our life yeah yeah and right now we're going back to the freshness mm -hmm. with less fast food yeah of course M my kids don't even know this restaurant i don't even want to tell you which restaurant no, 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 no. I, I would say there's enough time in every household that you can prepare something quick yes. with fresh ingredients absolutely yeah? leave the cans in the shelves Leave yeah. the other stuff in the shelves. Get yeah. more leaves, get more produce, get it out on the... On exactly, the yeah. Like we've got here, for example, let's talk about the recipe here. Let's talk about the ingredients. What are we going to be doing here? Okay, for the ahi poke, for this recipe where we, 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 we're presenting oil, mm -hmm. we have the tuna. It's a sushi grade one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. You also have to make sure that you know your, your, your supermarket where you buy it, yes. that you have a really fresh, fresh ingredient because it's okay. raw. Yeah, yeah. 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 Then we're also using uh, sesame seeds. We have here in this bowl, we mix the black and the white sesame seeds. Then we have like the wasabi paste. Yeah, you can mm -hmm. prepare it fresh with the powder. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you mix it with the water, but they also have small ones. It's already ready mixed, so okay. you can buy it in the shop. Then nice. we have fresh ginger. Yeah. Yeah. Then we have the wakame seaweed. Ah, yeah. right. Yeah, because 
I think the plants get more more interesting in the culture of cooking. Yeah. 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 We well, should start yeah. to eating more seaweed, no? I think so, it's right? It's really healthy. It's really good for you. Yeah. I keep reading it. Yeah. Then we have here the mango, what is right now in season. Mm, it's delicious. delicious. Really delicious. delicious. Really yeah. is this time of the year. Then we were using green onions or scallions. Scallions, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Then we have the, the peel of the lemon so and the eat, peel yeah. of the orange. So some of the peel, some of the rind to go in there as exactly. well. Exactly. Fantastic. And then to the end, we finish it with ponzu sauce. Ponzo sauce, you can find it in every Asian shop. Yes. And even the supermarket has it. It's yes. a mix of soy sauce, lemon juice, orange juice, and mirin. Mirin is a, is a, a rice wine. It's a little okay. bit sweet. Mm. So you have like a kind of sweet acid thing and really pushes the flavor. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. And then also, you, if you want, because we in Mexico can use habanero. It always creeps yeah. in, doesn't it? It could always yeah. be there, right? We do that. If yeah, you want to take the seeds out, you have a little bit less spice. Yeah. 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 Or use a pepper like it's not so spicy, like a jalapeno Benio or maybe. a serrano. Yes. Yeah. It, with this, you can push it. And then to the end, yeah, we use the red salt. Red. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. some black pepper. Wonderful. And that's it. Yeah. All right. So what we'll do, we'll start getting it, getting it, working it up. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. We'll pop into a brief, very brief commercial break in a second, but. As you go into this, I mean, let's talk a little bit about your tuna. How are you going to prepare this? The tuna we will cut in nice big chunks. Big chunks, okay. Yeah. It's also important with the tuna, it has to be really, really fresh. Yeah. 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 I can see, I mean, you're just very effortlessly slicing through that. It's like butter. Yeah. Like it's, butter. Also, yeah. it's also better when you have the tunas from the north, from the northern sea. The tuna here in the Caribbean, they're really nice, yeah, but yeah. it's like the childhood for the tunas. Mm. And here, because you don't have to protect of cold, so they don't have so much fat on them. Ah, okay. But as we yes, know, yes. butter, oil, fat gives the flavor. Yeah. So if you have a tuna from the north, he has his protection, he has his fat. Yeah. So it makes it more moister, it's more, yeah. Oh, More tasty. Look at the tip here. This Everything, is great. yeah. Fantastic. We'll continue with some of this preparation. Join us in just a few moments to see the finished product. We'll be right back. Welcome back and continuing with our ahi tuna poke, a very typical, uh, beautiful Hawaiian dish that Chef Andreas is putting together with us right now. So let's continue on. So, what we're doing right now, we have here ponzu sauce. Like I explained before, it's like yeah. a soy sauce. Okay. Yeah, you can use the one with uh, less sodium, so you don't have so much salt. Okay. Yeah, it don't right. destroy the product. It's mixed with orange juice. It's mixed with lemon juice. It's also mixed with uh, mirin. What is the rice wine? Yeah. Lovely. You can make it fresh in your house. You will find yeah. a good recipe online, but also you can find some good products in in every Asian shop. Okay. Very yeah. good. So I start with this. To put like two, two tablespoons. tablespoons. Okay. Yeah. Then I use vegetable oil. I don't want to have a use of oil. What is muy, what is a lot of flavored because yeah, yeah I want to keep the taste of the tuna. Right. So that's right. why I don't use olive oil. Yeah. Uh, so the vegetable okay. oil is more neutral. But also a lot of people use it with uh, sesame oil. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's up to your taste, however you want to do it. Sesame or vegetable, your yeah. preference. But as vegetable. we have one of the best products here in Charisma, we want to taste the tuna, you know, we, we don't want to taste the product. Saturate the, exactly. the, with the It's just to adjust yeah. the flavor of the tuna. Yeah, this is the main event right here. Exactly. So we added this too. I will grab some a little bit, little bit ginger fresh in ginger inside. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the aroma is so it smells, lovely. It smells lovely, no? I love that. Yeah. I really miss this, you know. I mean, I, don't, I, mean, I have to say this. I know Britain's probably not the best place for food, but I mean, this does take me back to my, my days when I was at college. I used to experiment a lot, you know. I used to throw a lot of ginger in, do a lot of stir frying and things. <laughs> Student budget, you know. <laughs> lovely. Brings back good memories. So I put the lemon peel and mm. also the orange peel. You smell already. I love it. No, it's just like, it gives you a nice oh, flavor. Yeah, really lovely. Yeah. Talk about your stu st student days. I mean, you've been traveling and working, but where did you study? Like I had three years because in, in Europe you have yeah. to look for a restaurant, for a hotel, yes. who, has the, who has the mastership. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. he can train you. Then you have three years, you have like a dual system where you can, uh, where you have half of the year you're in the school and half year you're in the restaurant. So okay. you have the practicum, yeah, you also yeah. have the, the part of the, of the school. 
And you're also an instructor too as well, a master instructor of chefs yes. too, right? Yeah, I finished my mastership in 95. Okay. I was an instructor in 92 and I finished my certification in 95, uh, like, yeah. like you said, mastership, yeah. It's amazing, yeah. isn't it? So I add the tuna yes. to the marination, yeah. Okay. So it can get a little bit of juice inside. Yeah, then I have yeah. here the wakame seaweed. I add like, yeah, two tablespoons too. Okay. Yeah. Then I have the fresh, the fresh mango. Fresh mango. It's mm. peeled. Yeah, it's, yes. it's cut in yeah. cubes. The same. Okay. Then I have the scallion. We dice it already nicely. Yeah. And then a wasabi is really spicy. You have to be careful. It's a different yeah. spice like chili. It goes always like horse red. It goes like directly yes. in the nose. Yeah. So you have to be careful. Yeah. Yeah. Respect it. Yeah. yeah. I had one yeah. time a coincidence with, with this one because some woman thought it was pea puree and she took oh. a full spoon and... I know. That yeah, can happen. It, that, that, that can happen. happen. So this is also, however you want to do it, you can add a little bit or you can add a lot. Yeah. Just but take, it, take it easy then. Is the take it easy there. with yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Because you can always add more, but you can't take the flavor out if you put no. too much in, that's the problem. Exactly. Right? Always do a little bit less. Never yeah. go directly from a container to the to food. Always put it with a spoon, always put it a little bit with the hand, oh, so you right. can control the amount better. Yes, but some people yes. go like this. Very heavy handed. And, and then it goes like, whoops, it's too much. Yeah, and the yeah. food is gone, yeah. Always use the spoon, don't be lazy. Not be, not go for <laughs> don't be lazy. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. We're getting the master class here. Instruction. This is good. So, oh, this is the combined se uh, sesame seeds. Sesame seeds. Lovely. Yeah. The avocado I have to cut fresh to the end. I don't want to get spot. That you leave that right to the end. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. So it's the I don't freshest want you can do it. Exactly. Don't get it oxidized. Is that right? Exactly. All yeah. oh, right. Yeah. I'm getting a class. You learned a lot well. of the lot of last few months, no? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say this, I'm going to put it out there, I'm going to get everybody upset, but he's the best so far in terms of teaching. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you I've so much. I've learned the most with you, Andreas, today. But I mean, everybody we've had, all the MasterChefs we've had so far on the show have been wonderful. They've all brought certain, you know, personality to it. And I love it. You know, we've had um, Felipe, our sous chef the other day. One from, from Royal here. Yeah, yeah. yeah he Felipe. defends Mexican food, you know, he's a yes, of defender. Course. You've got the very international range to your to under your belt as well. I mean, I think you've been the most international we've had. I think so too. And also, mm -hmm. it's nice we have every year events here in Dorado Royal, like yeah. the Long Star, where yes. all the chefs create something in their in their kitchen, yes. and we bring it together here, mm -hmm. and we make one big festival. So yeah. it's really nice. Yeah, we'll bring it's like bringing something to a party, isn't it? And I think tonight you're doing a big banquet, aren't you, for the Romance Travel Forum, this huge group of almost 500 travel agents exactly. from all over the world coming to see our, our wedding speciality, what we offer for, you know, obviously with, with every aspect of our resorts geared towards weddings. So that's going to be a big event for you. Are you involved in that tonight as well? No, I have to go back because we have some events too in uh, Maroma. Ah, because you go. today, yeah. felicidades a todos los mamás aquí. Yes, yeah. happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day because in, in Germany it's on Sunday, but here in Mexico it is already on it's, Thursday. It's today, that's right. Yeah. And here we are, plating. Here we are, we're plating. Getting to a grand finale here. This looks amazing. It's just so good. And like you said, Easily, to, easy to make. You can find products like this widely available. I think the only couple of specialty bits might be the uh, the sauce that you said go to and maybe an Asian sauce. Or make it yourself. Why not have a go? Make no, it. No, ponzo is one of like See? teriyaki, like the soy sauce. Yeah. So that sauce that you get now and nowadays, you get it everywhere because the supermarkets getting so professional. They are, aren't yeah, they? Yeah. They're getting more of those specialized world sections in those supermarkets, yeah. The last few 20 years, we get a lot of stuff now in the supermarkets, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, Don't be afraid to get in the kitchen, guys. This is it. You the can only thing this. is, what you have to know, you have to know how to mm. cook it, no? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me tell you I'm really thankful about, that yeah. nobody can replace us with some robots. No, this is it. Yeah. You know, we're not going to replace you guys. There's lots of robotics they say out there, but, uh, no, but you can't do not. this. You can't replace you guys. This is so lovely, wonderful. So, you've got to go back to El Dorado Maroma later on for Mother's Day and preparations. Anything else that's coming up on the, um, 
on the on the agenda you know for the for the next few weeks have you got any special chefs coming in to help you over the, the next few months or seasons what's what's coming up there's always somebody coming in yeah, yeah. we always have interaction with the different hotels that some of the guest chef of the other hotels visit us and cook with us yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. We also have a lot of uh, specials in the, we have yeah, wine dinners, we have tequila tastings, yeah. There's, we have the manager meeting, we have so many things going so on in Maroma. Things going on all the time. You have to go there, yeah. Come on down, you Please. won't be disappointed as well. Chef Andres, it's been a real treat. It's been an education for me as it well was a today. Pleasure it's been you, lovely yeah. to have no. you on the show. Please come yeah. back again. For sure I will come, yeah. And we'll be back with you guys tomorrow from 11 a.m. Join us live through Facebook. We'll see you then. Hasta mañana. Hasta mañana.